When creating a footprint, you need to add information in the form of a contour to indicate the area occupied by this component on the board. This contour is called the courtyard and is stored in a special component layer pair that we created when preparing the workspace. The criteria to consider when creating courtyard boundaries are described in IPC 7351. Courtyard contours should describe all the features of the footprint. In our case, the SMD pad, through-hole pad, and silkscreen should be inside the courtyard. Courtyards can be created following IPC 7351B for rectangular courtyards and IPC 7351C for contour courtyard outlines. Lastly, the courtyard contour is created with a different gap depending on the type of component and density level. If you look at the values presented in the IPC 7351 standard, you will notice that the gap value rarely changes depending on the type of component. Depending on the density, a minimum average or maximum gap can be used. For our component, we will use a minimum clearance of 0.1 millimeters, which is used at maximum density. The recommended courtyard outline widths are 0.05 millimeters or 0.01 millimeters. Let's take a look at courtyard creation. Given all the parameters listed, select the place line tool and press tab to set its thickness before creation. We will use the recommendation and we will create a line with a thickness of 0.1 millimeter. Hit enter to confirm. For the convenience of observing a 0.1 millimeter gap, we switch to a minimum grid of 0.025 millimeters and we observe a gap of four cells in relation to all objects. So that the mouse cursor does not snap to objects, we distinguish all the bindings except the grid using the keyboard shortcut Control E. To change the side from which the line is created, use the spacebar. When you select the component on the PCB, the bounding box will follow the courtyard contour. This is especially useful for circular courtyards, such as those found in capacitors.